Hi guys, good to be with you again on these broadcasts and thank you, uh, welcome to Word for the Weekend. Uh, if you're watching this, the recorded version, of course it may not be the weekend, but on the time of recording this, it's Saturday morning, it's just gone 11 o'clock and uh, we're just going to share some thoughts about word for the weekend so i don't know what you what you got your plans what you're doing today uh what you're hoping i know weather forecast wise uh sunday it does not look good weather wise but today where we are in the south of england it is a beautiful sunshine day Word for the weekend. I, just the title of this broadcast, friends, is called Learning to Listen. You know, when some people phone us up, and I've got my phone here, and they phone us up, and uh, and you try to hear sometimes what they're saying. Maybe they, maybe your uh, dial, settings are down, and you can't quite hear, or they're very softly spoken, or it's a bad connection. And you have to kind of kind of adjust to hear and and I believe it's a bit like that listening to God you see God God is speaking God is speaking but is there anyone listening is there anyone tuned in uh, to listen to him you know some people have to go and have hearing tests and people, when they get to a certain age, they, that might be the case. It may be you've been to audiology and you go, I've been had a hearing test. And you go into this booth and you, what they do, they set, they rig it all up. And they, they say, when you hear the sound, and it's first in the one ear, then it's in the other ear. When, when you hear a sound, you, you press the you've got this remote thing and as soon as you hear it you press dee and so on and you look and you kind of anticipate there is that sense of anticipating what might be coming uh, and then from that uh, they they can gauge how good or bad <laughs> is your hearing but when listening to God, we we can learn to listen to God. And this this the these thoughts that I'm sharing with you now was sort of inspired the other day. There was some devotional, and it talked about which we're going to go into. But Samuel, the young lad Samuel, uh, and uh, if you want to turn to that, you can. That's in one Samuel chapter three, and Samuel's been he, he's. Been, he's been dedicated to the temple to be trained up and uh, he's he, God comes to him uh, uh, but he didn't see God or anything but he hears a voice speaking his name interesting isn't it God knows your name he knows exactly he knows everything about you and so he hears this voice saying Samuel Samuel and he, it's so real that he thinks it's... So he goes into the next room. It says here that he, he goes into the next room and he goes to uh, Eli, who's the, the prophet in charge, as it were. And he said, hello, you, you called me. And Eli said, no, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So he goes back and then again... He hears this voice, Samuel, Samuel. So he goes back into Eli again. And then finally, after two or three times, Eli had actually had to learn to listen to what was going on. And he, he said, when, go back to your room. When you, if it comes again, if you hear it, say, speak, Lord. Or your servant is listening and that's exactly what happened let me read the actual verse the third time the 
the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up, went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Eli realised the Lord had been calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go, lie down. If he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Lord came and stood there calling us at the other times. You see, he's calling out to us, friends. Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. I wonder if we're listening. God, he, 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 there was a special call on Samuel. But you know, every one of us, you watching now, you're special to God. And we can, God would reach out to us if we only would learn to listen. There's another a case. There's lots of cases in the Bible. You can, what, what's wonderful today is that you can Google in your question and you'll find all the answers. You'll find how many times this has been said and that's been said. It's all so instant today. But another occasion there's a man called Elijah and God had been really using him and he, he, he had listened to God and he'd been directed by God. But then he, go, he goes through a time of depression and, and, and he's being oppressed and pursued by his enemies. So he goes and he goes right over into uh, one side. Um, Let's go where it is. It is in 1 Kings 19. And he, he's been on the run and he said, God, you know, what? Are, and he starts to cry out to God. And God speaks to him and says, what are you doing here? And out of that, he, he shows him these things. I'm going to look up these verses, 1 Kings 19. And uh, he, says, uh, I, he says, go out and stand on the mountain. In the presence of the Lord. And the Lord was about to pass by. Then a great powerful wind tore the mountains apart. And shattered the rocks. Before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And then. Uh, a wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake came fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. A still small voice. And Elijah heard it, and he pulled his cloak over his face. He heard the still, small voice of God. Learn to listen. Learn to adopt the Samuel approach and say, Speak, for your servant is listening. Maybe God is speaking to you through these thoughts that I'm sharing with you now. Maybe uh, you, in your devotional time, maybe you've never actually opened your Bible. And this is what I do. I say, God, would you speak to me? Speak to me through your word. Would you show me who you are? Give me a greater revelation. Help me to understand what I'm reading. Help me to hear. Help me to learn to listen. So we go over into the New Testament. And in Matthew's Gospel. And Matthew chapter 17. And Jesus takes with him Peter, James and John. And they go up to this mountain. And this is the what we call the transfiguration. Um, when I went to Israel the second time with my wife, we went to this mountain where the alleged site of Jesus was transfigured. And it's amazing to stand on these spots, Jane, uh, uh, and to know that God actually did these amazing things. And he was transfigured before them. And he, well, let me read it. Verse 2, and he was transfigured before them and his face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as light. Then there appeared to him Moses, Elijah, talking with Jesus. 
And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it's good for us to be here. If you wish, we could put two, three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. And while he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them. And a voice from the cloud said, this is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen. Listen to him. It's my prayer that uh, whenever you're watching this, whether it's live or whether, that we will learn to listen. If we will go to church, learn to listen to God through whoever is preaching. Learn to listen to God through the worship songs. Learn, go for a walk and see nature and learn to listen to God. And quickly respond and say, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Well... Thank you <laughs> for listening. Thank you for being part of this program. Don't forget, put the thumbs up, share it, um, put it onto your page, make your comments, ask your questions. But above all, let's learn to listen. Well, I'm going to pray and wish you a good day. So Father, I thank you that you are speaking. You're speaking so loud and clear. Help us to listen. Help us to not always look for you in the noise, but to hear you in the silence. Help us, and would you speak to the noise and the turbulence that goes on in our head sometimes and the, the worries and the anxiety, would you speak into those things and help us to hear your voice that says, by your stripes you are healed, that you are my child, that I have a, I've called you and have a destiny for you. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to hear your voice of correction that will just re- uh, Locate our journey to put us on the right track and back on the right track. Because we thank you, Lord, that you love us and you care for us and you've got a plan for us all. So, Lord, I just pray for everyone watching. I pray that you will just touch them by your spirit and that you will encourage them and that they will know that voice that says, uh, this is my son. Father, I ask these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you, friends. Thank you so much and for being part of this program. And uh, until the next time, Good day. God bless you.